Hello guys, welcome back to Illustrator. Uh, today I'm going to explain how you can check the geometric irregularity in your structure as per IS 1893-2016. So let us understand what a geometric irregularity is. Uh, let me open the code first. <coughs> so uh, this is IS 1893-2016 you can see here. So uh, what it says let me scroll down yeah what it says you can see here if this ratio what uh, if you have a structure like that sorry let me change it <coughs> yeah if you have a structure like that or uh, different kinds of structures you can say like that or like that so we'll check this corner okay we'll check this corner so as per IS 1893, what they said, if the total length or width, you can say this total length in both the sides, if it is y direction or if it is x direction in both the sides, if the length by, uh, sorry, uh, length and the ratio of this uh, length of this corner, okay, this part, this part. So if the A by L means the length of this corner this part and the total length of the structure in both the sides if uh, this ratio is greater than 0 0.15 then we can say these corners are re-entrant corners okay you can see these corners are re-entrant corners that means uh, geometric irregularity geometric irregularity is present in your structure okay geometric irregularity is present in your structure so same here in case of uh, this is a l shape uh, structure you can see the total length in both the sides and here the distance of this corner means this part in this side if it is x and this side if it is y so this length and this length so if it is a and the total length is l then a by l should not be greater than 0 0.15 it is if it is greater than 0 0.15 then this corner this part will be called re-entrant corner and uh, this is this will be this phenomena is called uh, geometric irregularity of your structure okay so let me see i have created one structure in uh, stat pro connect edition so you can see let me change this, this to the view to the top view so i have made kind of like that only uh, as per the code like the total uh, length is almost 5 meter in both the directions Okay, this is, these are five meters. Okay, and uh, these corners are uh, 0 0.9 meters here also. This side also 0 0.9 meters in both the sides. Here also, here also, here also. Okay, so um, just just for just to show you how to check this uh, automatically in Stat Pro condition, I have made this simple structure um, and. Uh, I have assigned all the properties you can see uh, I have assigned the properties here you can see the plate properties okay and the beam column properties okay and I have I have, I have assigned the support condition fixed support and uh, let's let's go for loading you can see I have created a dead load case and I have assigned the self weight only self weight of the structure no other dead load and uh, 2 kilo newton of live load on the plates and uh, i have created a mass mass source or you can see a mass load which is the self weight of the structure and uh, means the total dead load which is self weight of the structure and the uh, and i have taken uh, just 50% uh, of the live load or you can take 25% of the live load just just to show you i have created a simple uh, structure and uh, assigned some load cases here okay so what we need to do actually to check this uh, uh, irregularity check in uh, stat pro current edition we need to assign the diaphragms okay so let me let let me show you how you can assign the diaphragms let's go to let's go to specification here okay specification and uh, see um, we have slabs from here i think yeah um, yeah from this place you can define the dia rigid diaphragm so let's go to node and if you go to flow diaphragm you can see the diaphragm option 
so i'll be giving the heights where i should uh, assign the diaphragms so for that let's let's let me close it and let's check the values where is my node cursor yeah node cursor and if you check the node value y value this is 0 0.09 so here it is 0 uh, 3.3.9 here it is a uh, 6.9 here it is 9.9 uh, .9 and it is I think 12.9 yeah so let me write it uh, one somewhere it is 0 0.9 then 3.9 then 6.9 yeah right 6.9 this one yeah 6.9 then 9.9 9.9 and 12.9 so uh, let me assign the heights there so let's go to uh, node flow diaphragm and uh, just give here first first one is 0 0.9 and uh, keep everything same then add and uh, again node flow diaphragm height will be 3.9 sorry uh, 3.9 then add another one node flow diaphragm and it will be 6.9 then add uh, then 9.9 and 12.9 so let's node flow diaphragm height will be 9.9 .9, add and another one is 12.9 12.9 so add okay so we have assigned uh, rigid diaphragms for all the floats from ground story ground floor to uh, roof okay so um, uh, as for this diaphragm assignment like how what is the width of the diaphragm in both the directions the chat flow will calculate automatically whether we have re-entrant corners or ge geometric irregularity in the structure or not so uh, after assigning the diaphragms it is it is very much necessary to assign the diaphragm because without diaphragm chat flow will not be able to calculate the ge geometric irregularity or what are the geometric shapes there okay so let's uh, after that go to analysis very simple go to analysis um, then go to miscellaneous commands okay, let me let, let me give a okay let me go to here miscellaneous commands then flow diaphragm options you can see here this is the this is the option where you will find this thing uh, flow diaphragm option here this one so flow diaphragm options if you click on that then you can see there are different checks as per is 893 you need to check you need to click this one is 893 2016 and will take this one check irregularities okay check irregularities after that okay just um, take this one check irregularities and then okay and let me define uh, all and add close and now if you run the analysis save let us run the analysis first So now you can check the output file. <clears throat> Let me make it somewhat like extended. Okay. So here in this side you can see geometric irregularity checks. Just click on double click on that, then you can see here so we have re-entrant corner see this is the geometric irregularity checks okay what is it, it is showing like uh, <clears throat> okay we have geometric irregularity here so we are going to check and re-entrant corner check uh, table number five okay ratio limit is 0 0.15 as we see already saw already in the um, in ISA 93 2016 code that is the a by l ratio should not be greater than 0 0.5 so the limit is 0 0.15 sorry 0 0.15 but in our case in our structure the a by l ratio is crossing the 0 0.1 value so it is showing the status you can see the status uh, the node the connectivity in which connection we have re-entered corners you can see they are showing in the status re-entrant corners for every floor okay and this is the diaphragm see uh, the according 
we have 5 meters by 5 meter diaphragm so it is automatically taking the diaphragm here okay see here also hmm? so like that you can uh, check the reentrant corners uh, or geometric irregularity in your uh, um, stat pro connect edition and uh, remember it it is only possible in stat pro connect edition it's not possible in uh, stat pro series 6 or series 5 uh, in that those versions it is only possible in stat pro connect edition um, and uh, you can get the software from any torrent site for educational educational or learning purpose otherwise if you are using it for professional like uh, for your professional works you should you should buy it it is better to buy it and uh, <clears throat> so this is all to, for today uh, in the in my next video i'll be coming up with some other irregularity checks like a torsional irregularity is there or mass irregularity checks okay and uh, i'll if you want i'll be giving the the sites where you can get the software i'll be giving i'll be putting the um, websites link in, in my description and yeah don't forget to subscribe and like my channel if you are new new to this channel and uh, uh, like this video if you if you really like it and yeah if you have any doubt regarding uh, any any of the these uh, issues like any of the topics you can comment comment me down I'll be trying to solve those issues in my next video. Thank you.